Hello, grade 10 students. In this video, we're going to talk about the semester one exam for worksheet solution for place. In this video, we are going to solve the worksheet, but you have to jump. Start with the notes that are found in the ISI booklet, pages 9 to 25. Also, to review the value for review worksheets of the notes on the copy book. Let's start with question number one. Indicate the true statement or statements and correct the false one or ones. Simply, if it's true, you can write true. If it's false, you have to write false and you have to write the answer in complete answer direction. Cooking in facilitates the reuptake of dopamine, leading to increased heart beat rate and blood pressure. This one sure is false. Cooking in it inhibits, it blocks the, inhi the reuptake of the dopamine, which leading to the increased heart rate and the blood pressure. Moving to for two, a substance that is produced naturally inside our body is called an endogenous substance. Sure is true. While well, the substance that produced or that is produced from outside the body is called the exogenous. Agonistic is the one that has the opposite function of an endogenous wave transmitter. This is false. Agonistic it has the same function or enhances its function while the antagonistic is the one that has the opposite function. Myelination of the nerve fiber decreases the speed of propagation of the nervous message. False myelination, it increases the speed of propagation of the nervous message. Five, synapse is the functional connection unit between two neurons only. False, it's between a neuron and a neuron, and between a neuron and another cell, maybe a neuron, a gland, or a muscle. Substance that causes pain is called algesic. So, as that release pain is called analgesic. Moving to question two, talking about the action of the curer. The curer is a paralyzing substance. You have to follow me on your worksheet. So the curer is a paralyzing substance of plant origin actually used in surgery. But it's also a poison known by the Indians long time ago. Tom Bernard has realized the following experiment on frogs after injecting curer into circulation under a ligature at the level of the left thigh. So state of the leg after curer injection, the experiment, and the rest of the left leg, the organs of the leg are not affected by curer except for the sciatic nerve. So we have stimulation of the sciatic nerve, so we have extension of the leg. So the stimulation of the sciatic nerve of the left leg not touched by curer, it provokes ex extension, although the nerve is Theorized. In that, the very beach. On the other hand, we have all the organs of the leg, the right leg, they are affected by curer. So here, all the organs, they are affected by curer. While in the left leg, the organs of the leg are not affected, except what? The sciatic nerve. Okay? And we did stimulation, and we have extension, even though the sciatic nerve is theorized. On the other hand, all the organs of the leg that are affected by curer. With its stimulation of the sciatic nerve, there is no response. Why? Direct stimulation of the gastric leaves muscle, we have extension of the leg. So stimulation of the sciatic nerve of the right leg touched by curer doesn't provoke any response. Thus curer prevents the response of the muscle, but it doesn't have any action on the nerve. Okay? While the direct stimulation of the muscle of the right leg provokes the extension of the foot. This indicates that the muscle is not touched by the action of the curer. What can you conclude concerning the known of the action of curer? You have to know that the curer does not act neither on the nerve nor on the muscle. It acts on the zone of the nerve and the muscle contact with each other. Moving to question number three, question number three about the Virginia experiment. So we did excitation of the ventral root of the spinal nerve. What happened? The concerned part is contract. This indicates that the message is propagated from the ventral root to the concerned part. So therefore, the ventral root has a motor function. We have to study this note. The ventral root has a motor function. Whereas after excitation of the dorsal root of the spinal nerve, we have contraction with feeling of pain. This indicates that the nerve muscle was propagated from the dorsal root toward the spinal cord and from it to the brain 
I'm done to the concern. So the concern, the concern part. So this indicates that, or this means that, the dosa root has a sensory function. Whereas after structuring of the ventral root and exciting the central end, we have no reaction. This indicates that the nervous muscle was stopped at this section. Whereas after sectioning the ventral root and exciting the peripheral end, what happened? The muscle contracted. This indicates that the nervous muscle is propagated toward the muscle. So the nervous muscle is propagated in a centrifugal manner in the motor ventral root. Whereas after sectioning the dorsal root and exciting the central end, we have contraction and the feeling of pain. So this indicates that the nervous muscle propagated to the spinal cord, to the brain, and down to the muscle. While after sectioning the dorsal root and exciting what the peripheral end, no reaction occurred. So the muscle stopped at this. So the nervous muscle is propagated in a centripetal manner in the dorsal sensory root or the sensory dorsal root. While in the last experiment, what we did the destruction of the spinal nerve. So we have the destruction of the spinal nerve. So there is no reaction, no, re no contraction, neither feeling of pain. So we have total loss of motor, and sens motor activity and sensation. So this indicates that the spinal nerve has a mixed function, both sensory and motor. So you have to focus on these. You have to review the notes, have to study well, your exam. Thank you. Bye-bye.